Hey everybody, this is Josh from Upright Health here with Matt. Hey guys. We're going to discuss a uh, pretty good question that we got from a YouTube subscriber named Tanya. So Tanya has been um, watching some of our anterior pelvic tilt videos. She's going through trying to correct that issue in herself and she has seen that we recommend doing um, some bigger movements like squatting and deadlifting. And Actually, in our program, the fixed anterior pelvic tilt program that we made, uh, we have squatting and deadlifting in there as you progress. So her question was basically, do I need to do uh, these bigger movements? Uh, is it absolutely necessary for me to fix my issue? Right, right. So what do you think about that? Uh, well, this goes back to... Um what do you have to do to survive in your normal life, right? So if, um, Tanya, you never do anything requiring you to get hip flexion, then I guess you can probably get away from squatting and deadlifting. But if you have to do things like pick things up, pick something up that's really heavy, sit into a seat or something, uh, I don't think you have a choice. I, I mean, do, do you see a way of avoiding those things? No, I agree, right? Those are kind of just basic human functions and I think that I think one of our main principles at Upright Health is um, if you can do a motion with a little bit of external load then you're going to be able to do it you know without load in real life right, right? right, right. and that's that's kind of the reason why we we use these type of things because if you can squat down to the ground with holding 20 pounds in your hand, then when you have to go and squat down to the ground, you know, without anything in your hands, you're going to be able to do that with efficient movement, basically. Yeah, so like uh, like we have some older clients who find it difficult to, um, you know, get up and down out of a chair and... You know, as you gradually train them, you give them weight, they can get up and down out of a low, low position holding weight, which is, you know, box squat or even eventually a normal squat. They start to notice that when they go sit down on a seat and they go sit down for brunch and they get up out of that chair, it's a lot easier because now they've gotten used to being able to handle that external load. They're used to being able to handle weight. And when you take that weight away, no problem. You can get up, move around. It. It's, yeah. It's awesome. You don't have to have something to push off of or... Right whatever yeah definitely and uh so just to kind of take things to the opposite end of the spectrum you don't have to become a bodybuilder or a power lifter um you know you don't have to get super into squatting and deadlifting and get on a barbell and try to push prs every week that's not what we're asking you to do we're just asking you to be comfortable with doing these motions with um probably just you know, a minimal weight that everyone should be able to handle uh, based on, you know, what your, uh, you know, yeah. height, weight, all that stuff, right? Right, right, yeah. right. So, so a lot of times we look at, you know, how much, you know, how much do you weigh, how tall are you, and then what's reasonable to expect for you. So, you know, if you can pick up your own, basically your own body weight, you're generally pretty good. Unless your body weight is massively out of proportion to how tall you are, being able to pick up your own body weight off the floor in a deadlift is pretty reasonable. You can get there fairly safely without being very, um, you know, very tricky with your programming. Um, yeah. Squatting, right? You don't necessarily have to squat your full body weight, but at least, I don't know, if you can squat with like 50% of your own body weight, you're already... Uh, for a lot of people, that's already going to be really good just for normal daily function. Yeah. I mean, even some of our older clients, like if they can squat with, you know, 20 pounds in their hands, which is maybe 20% of their weight, um, that's still really, that makes a huge difference for quality of life. So. Yeah, yeah, exactly. And I think you touched on a good point there is it's not just the physical aspect, but what it does to you mentally when you can start, you know, when you get stronger, you know, when you can like handle a little bit of these um, weights in your on your body, you feel good, yeah. right? Yeah, yeah, and that's how you get addicted. Who doesn't want to feel good? Yeah. Who doesn't want to get addicted to something? Right? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> right, so I guess that pretty much answers that question. So Tanya, please, uh, yeah, squat, deadlift, get into it, be careful with it, progress slowly, yeah? You don't have to go crazy like Josh said, um, you know, and just do it.
so you can survive and enjoy your life sitting and bending and doing all that stuff that you want to do. Yes, be a complete mover. Cool. All right, I think that wraps it up, guys. Hopefully you got something from that. Um, if you have any questions, let us know. And remember, pain sucks. Life shouldn't.